Got on YouTube, Kurt says here for the end of season review for my fantasy Premier League team. Uh, yeah, top 3,000 finish in the world, if you don't mind. Um, <laughs> unreal, to be honest, I've never finished so highly. Um, it's my third finish in the top 100k, but uh, it's my second finish in the top 50k, but never inside the top 3k. Absolutely mental, if you ask me. Um, to be fair, this video is more for me personally. Um, I just wanted to record my season, go back through the weeks, uh, week by week, the decisions I made, and uh, yeah, just to have a video of review of this great season that I had. Um, I love Fantasy Premier League. I've been playing for 10 seasons now. Next year will be 10 seasons and i love it it's so much fun um i'm always thinking about it for me it's like a game of chess it's always like what moves should i be making next uh and i love watching the premier league so you know for those of you who are subscribed to me and I, um that aren't used to uh me making fantasy premier league content uh sit back relax enjoy and i'll we'll talk about it and hopefully next season you guys can get involved and uh yeah let's talk about how my season went shall we so uh yeah let's get into it so uh, as you can see here i got a ranking of 2905th overall out of 7.6 million players which is absolutely mental um <laughs> especially over 38 game weeks um yeah so uh as we can see here as you guys if you don't know i'm from australia uh unbelievable unbelievable mind you this is my latest game week the last game of the season game week 38 i've got 75 points uh we'll go through week by week in a second but i just want to scroll through here some of my classic leagues uh shout out uh fantasy football scout came uh 418th there and uh, fpl fyi it's a great show uh came 95th there but as we can see here uh, out of every Man United fan that signed up to this, I came 675th. And in Australia, in my country, I came 78th, which for me is my best season ever. It's, uh, it's an achievement that I'm very proud of, uh, especially this overall rank. You know, to be in the top 3K out of 7.6 million players, uh, astonishing, absolutely astonishing. <clears throat> As we can see here, now, this is for the, those of you who do play. Um, as you can see here, throughout the whole season, I only made 29 transfers throughout the 38 game week season. So, a uh, bit of food for thought. I'll get to that in a second. But um, as you can see here, in the end, my squad value was 105.4 million, which is decent. Not amazing. There's a lot of people there that chase money and get to the like hundred and tens, but yeah, it's decent. It's a, it was a good transfer, a kitty to deal with. But uh, yeah, let's go quickly through. Well, not quickly. I want to go through game every game week, um, step by step, and just to see how I went because I made a lot of mistakes. And looking back now, uh, I made a lot of mistakes. And from where I finished to be first. I could have easily made a few different decisions, which probably would have got me, you know, a top 1K rank, but it's easier said than done. So let me get to uh, that in a second. Now, before we take a look at my team, I just want to give a little bit of advice to playing this game because I have been playing it for a long while now. And I just want to say that in fantasy football world today there's a lot of opinions out there and there's a lot of great opinions and a lot of content out there whether it be on youtube whether it be on websites like fantasy fantasy football scout there's a lot of great advice out there and there's a lot of knowledge to be taken on board um but my best opinion would be is to take all that knowledge on board but at the end of the day it's for you to use your own knowledge to predict what's going to happen and to stick to your guns like you can hear someone tell you all these stats, but at the end of the day, it's what you think is going to happen that really matters most. Because at the end of the day, if you just keep copying people and you know what, oh, that guy reckons that, you know what, I'll, I'll go with that. You're only going to be as good as that guy. You're never going to be as good as you think you are, which ultimately you want to be number one. 
So um, yeah, that would be my advice, just to stick to your predictions and uh, stick to your guns. Now also as well, before we get in as well, um, a massive thing I would like to say as well is hits. Game week hits, okay? Try to keep that to a minimum, okay? Throughout the whole season, I took uh four hits throughout the season so throughout the 38 game week season i took uh minus 16 out my whole overall season which is decent okay i've had seasons where i've had 20 hits you know and then w looking back after those seasons it's like mate the those 20 hits i made in a season is literally like two weeks two game weeks overall scores so you're down on your competitors in that much. You want to keep your hits to a minimum. And this week, I, uh, this week, this season, I managed to get it to um, under four game weeks. So uh, yeah, minus 16, which I think is decent. So if you can keep your hits to a minimum, I think you'll go a long way in this game personally. All right, so let's take a look at my uh, week to week review. Okay, now game week one now this is where i think i actually did decent i actually picked a decent team to start with so as we take a look here 98 points in my uh, first week but look at the players that i selected um marcus rashford uh who had an ult uh an unbelievable season in my opinion um i got sterling who got a hat trick and i started with kevin de bruyne who was pivotal throughout this season i thought he was amazing um so i made good decisions there but not just that i started yeah with a lundstrom who turned out to be an unbelievable pick so i got very lucky there as we take a look here my game week rank after the very first week was seventy five thousand. so it was a promising start here as we could take a look here uh where are we all right game week two okay not the best of weeks. Uh, did I have any transfers? No, no transfers for the first three weeks or for the first two weeks, I should say. And have a look at Lundstrom in my team. 60, uh, 14 points. I got 61 overall. My go overall game week rank was uh, 250,000, which was half decent. Uh, but overall rank after, uh, after the first two weeks, I was in the top 15K after the second week. So I started hard and I stayed there. <clears throat> which was uh decent all right now in game week three i took a hit now this is one of my first of four throughout the season uh let's have a look at the transfers that i made that i actually took the hit for okay robertson out lucas mora out and greenwood out for pookie marcial and peters okay now tch, tch, marcial oh, not bad pookie pretty good and peters on the bench not bad but look at this now this is a common theme for me throughout looking back at my season i had a lot of blanks in my team and i had a lot of captains that didn't perform three players that blanked now i'm talking i'm a player that finished in the top 3k when i'm looking to finish in the top 1k or even to win this thing looking back now that could have that costed me heaps and it's a common theme throughout this uh season for me looking back now well, at least the first half of the season all right, game week four, didn't make any trades. Uh, I had a shocker. I had an absolutely stinker. Have a look at this. Our game week rank, 5.7 million. Now, when we take a look at that, absolutely shocking. That pushed me out to still inside the top 100K, which is decent. But yeah, one of my worst game weeks of the year, game week four. All right, game week five game week five i made two trades uh martial got injured and uh i brought in dan james and i brought in trent okay so trent and uh dan james didn't really do much for me but here as we can see here my captain raheem sterling didn't do much for me which was another common theme for me throughout the season my captains in the first half of the season absolutely costed me heaps uh game week six didn't make any trades <clears throat> and that's another thing throughout this season for me too i i went a lot of weeks without making trades building them up and then using two free transfers <clears throat> okay again dendonka blanked for me 
Well, yeah, absolutely got me zero. And then, yeah, Raheem Sterling injured. But luckily, I had Mo Salah with the vice captaincy there saving me. Uh, yeah, 1.37 million. Not too bad. That kept me, where was I, in the top six? In the top 100, uh, just outside the 100K. Not too bad. Game week seven. Now, game week seven, I used my wild card. Uh, let's have a look down here. Game week seven, wild card activated. And uh, yeah, it was normally I use my wild card around game week three after the international break or during the international break. Uh, but yeah, as we take a look here, a lot of the players out here, a lot of the players in. Uh, let's see how it went for me. Terribly. 43 overall after using my wild card. Game week rank 5.3 million after using a wild card. That's very rare <laughs> to be doing so badly. Brought in Aurier, got me a red card. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, I had a stinker after my wild card. And to be fair, I thought my season was over there back in uh, game week seven. Let's take a look. Game week seven, I was in a... I was in a just outside of the top 100k got pushed out all the way out to 230,000 yeah things weren't looking good for me around the game week seven mark as we go to game week eight again not so good 39 points uh game week rank two and a half million and again my overall rank was out to the 230 mark so pretty much stayed level where I was Okay, game week nine, did I make it in any trades? Yes, I took another hit here. Okay, one of my uh, another hits. Okay, who did I bring in? Okay, Salah Sterling Puki uh, was out and in. I bring Mane, Madison, and Vardy. Okay, Vardy doing bits for me. Madison got injured and uh, Mane didn't really do nothing for me. But again, my captain costed me. It's a reoccurring theme for me out here. Game week 10, did things start to turn around? Overall game week, uh, 1 million, which pushed me to, let's have a look, it's back inside the 200,000 mark. Okay, now this is where things started to turn for me, all right? Game week 11. All right, now the trades I made for game week 11, all right, Cantwell and Callum Wilson out, Martial and Rashford in. Now, as we take a look at game week 11, Martial and Rashford absolutely did nothing for me, but I had a hell of a game week. Take a look at this. Captain did nothing for me, Kevin De Bruyne. But look at this. Abraham, 12 points. Lord Lundstrom, 21 points in my team. And as you've seen, he's been in, he was in my team from day one. Soyuncu, 14. And Henderson, 6. I had a belter of a game week. In the uh, overall, in the week, it, I was uh, 122,000. Overall, that pushed me back to the 50k mark. So, still decent. A lot of people would love to be inside that 100k mark around game week 10. So, uh, yeah, very good week for me there. Now, after the back of that, I made no trades. Okay. Game week 12, 50,000 rank for the game week. An unbelievable. Uh, week for me here finally getting my captain right uh, in Jamie Vardy got me 24 points um, yeah decent week very very decent week as we can see that pushed me up to the top 20k so I was I was up early <laughs> I was a high ranked early and I stayed there which was decent for me but uh, yeah finally getting my captain right it was good to see. All right, game week 13. How'd that go for me? Did I make any trades game week 13? Uh, no, I didn't. Game week 14, I did. But as we can see here, in game week 13, I blanked. Again, another blank in my team, <coughs> which costed me. Again, Captain Jamie Vardy doing bits for me. Marcus Rashford delivering for me again. Uh, mate, he had an unbelievable season. And uh, yeah, I really backed Marcus Rashford from the start. And that's another advice I would give to you guys too. Like if you have beliefs that you believe in players that will deliver, um, that not many other people are thinking about, because not many people were thinking Marcus Rashford could deliver on that level. You need to back them. If that's what you truly believe that makes you stand out, back them and you will stand out. I, I think that's how I got lucky this season. Well, I guess you could call it luck. 
<laughs> All right, game week 14. I did make a trade here. Otamendi out, wasn't playing. Tramori in. Uh, game week 14. Let's have a look. Again, I had a shocking week here. I had a shocker. 5.6 a million. Again, Jamie Vardy, once I bring him in, I finally had a good captain. He was doing bits for me. But yeah, a shocking week. Uh, 5.6 million for the game week. But that pushed me out from outside the uh, 10K to inside the 20K. Okay, but I turned it all around with game week 15. Again, another very good game week. Inside 150K for the week. Um, Jamie Vardy doing the bits for me with the captain. Now, my captain, I generally not too greedy. I like my captain to get five points or more. So to hit the double figures. Me personally, if my captain gets double figures, I'm happy with that. So Jamie Vardy with 10 minimum passed. Minimum. Could have done better, but I would have taken that. But yeah, great game week inside the 150k. Uh, game week 15. And that pushed me up in two side, inside the top 6k. So yeah, happy with that. Game week 16. 1.3 million for the game week. And again, inside the top 6k with another green arrow. Captain Marcus Rashford got me 9 points. Or he got me 18. 9 points, uh, 18 for the captain. But uh, as you can see there, Mane. I uh, don't know why. I don't know why Mane didn't play that week. But yeah. Now this is where things start to go downhill for me a little bit. And again, not the greatest game weeks. 4.8 million. Um, Mane with the captain. Doing good there. Game week 18. Another blank for Suyuncu. Uh, red card for Sun. Red card for Sun. That's two red cards from Tottenham players I had this season. Bit me in the ass, they did. But yeah, I had Mane captain, didn't play. And Rashford got the vice captain who didn't do bits for me. So overall, looking back now, I had a lot of things that didn't go my way. And it's this close that separates, you know, the top 3K to the, you know, the top 100 or, or even winning this competition. Just little things like that you can improve on. Or well, I could have proved on looking back now. All right. Now, did I make any trades? No, no trades going that way. All right. Game week 19. I made one transfer. Okay. Sun out. Back in for Kevin De Bruyne. Okay. Not bad. Again, another blank. A reoccurring theme. All right. Game week 20. Uh, game week 20 here back inside the top 25k. So I hope I stayed once I got inside the 20k, I stayed there in and around that. So it was decent for me. Game week 21, things weren't looking too good. Look at 3.5 million for the game week. Uh, captain stuffed me up again, costing me. Things are starting to add up now. What's that? Game week 21 overall rank 30,000. Not too bad. Uh, Marcus Rashford delivering for me. Captain finally getting that back for me. Game week 23, 4.4 million. And I took another hit. Now let's take a look at this, okay? Uh, where are we? Game week 23. Aurea out, Mason Man out, and Abraham out for Danny Ings, Cantwell, and Trent. That was good for Trent. Trent got 10 points, but Danny Ings did nothing for me. Another uh, another blank in Jamie Vardy there. And Cantwell didn't really do nothing for me. Now, when I look back on my season, the biggest mishap or looking back now, my made, the biggest mistake I made throughout my whole season was game week 24, in my opinion. Now, game week 24... I took a hit. I think that was my last hit for the season. Uh, let me take a look. Game week 24. 3.9 million for the game week. And I'm still inside the 50k mark, which is good. People will be happy with that, that. But in game week 24, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys had as well. A lot of people at home uh, used their triple captain this week. And mine was on none other then Sadio Mane triple captain 
Got me one point. Sadio Mane with that injury. I think it was a hamstring for memory. And looking back now, I've seen a lot of players use their triple captain on the opening game week on Raheem Sterling when he got 20 points, and that's 60. And when you look back at my Mane, that got three compared to those 60. You know, that's a 57 point turnaround. That's when you're inside the top 3K and you're trying to. That's a lot. That's an extra game week almost. Yeah, that's a huge rank. But it's just one of those things. I made great decisions and uh, unfortunately, some just didn't go my way. And for me, the biggest mistake of the season was that triple captain for Mane. What do you do? It's just you and your luck with um, injuries. True? Now, at that point there, I'm still inside 50k mark. I would take that. Things were still looking up. I wasn't all shattered and devastated as we take a look at game week 25 3.1 million game rank not the best you want to be inside that million mark to get those green arrows and as you can see here i was slipping back out game week uh 81,000 overall game week 26 good week for me inside the uh, 250k mark there 81 look at kevin de bruyne a player of the season mate captained him he was unbelievable uh what was this game week 26 and as you can see there game week 26 uh back inside uh the 100 k's i got pushed out there game week 27 um game week 27 sold the inclusion of none other let's have a look here bruno fernandez take a look at that i brought in bruno fernandez uh before he's in his first game against wolves that was another key decision I had. I bring him in nice and early. I seen as I'm a United fan, as you can see back there, not too sure. He was doing bets for sporting. And I just knew a player of his caliber who likes to take pop shots, you know, who likes to pass the ball deep was going to create chances. And I just, at the time, no, he had low ownership. I thought he was worth the risk. And to be fair, it was probably my transfer of the season. But uh, yeah, as we can see, transfer, uh, game week 24, uh, game week 27, back inside the top 50k there. Thanks to Bruno Fernandez. And again, Sado Mane, uh, Sado Mane doing bits for me. All right, game week 28, uh, not too bad, decent. Uh, again, stuffed up with my captain there. These things cost you over time. It's imperial getting your captain right if you want a really high game week in my opinion game week 29 uh inside the the million not bad uh kevin de bruyne got injured i think but it's all right put the vice captain amane saved me there really and then yeah the coronavirus hit and then we uh we we're on break <laughs> for a few weeks there all right and then it was all how loose now we all had a free hit if you remember uh we all had free transfers and i still had my second wild card up my sleeve so this was basically kind of like a free hit for me but uh yeah captain aguero brought him in uh, a lot of these players here was just for this week now henderson got me 13 uh now the very next game week okay I sold Henderson off the back of getting me 13. I made, this season, I made a lot of transfers uh, looking forward rather than looking backwards. A lot of players, in my opinion, would have seen a player get 13 game week, uh, game week points, especially for a goalkeeper, and would want to keep him. You need to make transfers ahead. You need to be making moves forward than backwards, in my opinion. So even though they've done great, in my opinion. So game week 31, okay, uh, I've got another fantastic week. An overall game week, um, in the game week of uh, inside the 100K, which put me to inside the top 20K with a few weeks to go. Now, I just want to show you something with my trades around the game week 32 mark. This might trip you guys out, okay? Now, as you can see here, that's game week 31. From game week 32 to the end of the season, I only made four transfers in seven weeks or six weeks. Yeah, I made four transfers. That's including two on the last day. So in six weeks, technically, I made two trades. 
I stuck with my guns. I did a lot of planning. I was on Fantasy Football Scout. Shout out to them. I'll link them in the description. Um, the season ticker, I'm a transfers over form, guys. It, it, it's a case-by-case -case scenario, obviously, but I would definitely advise on planning the, uh, the, your, the fixtures. And I plan and I stuck with my team. Now, if we take a look at this, I want to show you something, okay? A lot of people back game week 31, Jamie Vardy wasn't doing that well. Now, game week, I'll get to Jamie Vardy in a second. Game week 32, uh, where are we? Not a bad week inside the top 600K game week 32. Game week 33, this was it. This was the turning point for me in the season, game week 33, uh, inside, inside the uh, million for the game week. But Jamie Vardy, 13 points. I stuck with him thick through, thick through thin. Um, I knew he had the fixtures. He didn't have the form, but I knew this guy was in contention for a golden boot race. Um, Leicester had good fixtures. They were in the running for the Champions League at the time. I made good transfers here. All right. Now, game week 33 inside the top 12k mark i knew this was the time i was going to make my runs uh captain's choices from here on in was crucial game week 34 bruno fernandez delivering me the goods jamie vardy delivering me the goods at this point not many people own jamie vardy they're starting to jump back on um and pope wow mate Pope, what a season he had. I had him, I think I brought him in in my game week seven wild card. Uh, yeah, unbelievable. But yeah, as you can see here, game week 34, I got all the way down, still inside the top 12K. Now, this is where things started to do really, really well for me here. Martial, captain, uh, I think he got a, did he get, was it the hat trick he got? I'm not too sure. Uh, what did you get here? One goal, one assist, three bonus points, Anthony Martial. And Son, I had Son too, got 13 points, doing bits for me. And Jamie Vardy, mate, after the shocking form he was in, I stuck through him with him because I had invested a lot of money with him and I was going to lose a lot of money if I had got rid of Jamie Vardy. Sticking through, thick through Finn and giving faith, uh, I got rewarded in the end. And an overall game week rank of 56,000 in game week 35. That was massive. That pushed me up inside the top 5K. Game week 36, another strong week inside the top 200K. Game week 36, and that was my highest rank of the season. Um, 2,400 uh, was the highest I got in the season. Again, bring in Jesus. I sold Jamie Vardy as well. Now, remember me saying before is you need to make moves ahead. Jamie Vardy got three attacking returns in a row. A lot of people will be looking to bring in Jamie Vardy. I was looking to get him out to make those forward moves. Gabriel Jesus had the form and the fixtures, even though it was touch and go with Pep Guardiola, whether he's going to play or not. Turns out he played and I got lucky with that. But again, I blanked with Fernandez. These things costed you. And I still had De Bruyne on the bench, which I was a little bit burning about that. But nonetheless, it was a great game week for me. Now with two weeks to go, um, I got 2.2 million in the game week rank. Uh, Martial the captain. I was decent with that. Wasn't my best game week rank. I got pushed outside to 3.6 thousand. And then, yeah, on the final game of the season, I had to pretty much go for broke as we take a look at my uh, trades. And I sold Fernandez and Sice because he was away at Chelsea. And I bring in Churelski and Joe Gomez. Now, this is what I was thinking for the game week 38 as we take a look at my team. Pope was looking to get the most clean sheets, the Golden Glove, and I thought for sure Burnley were going to try their hardest to get that clean sheet for it, and it just wasn't meant to be. And I brought in double Burnley, and it costed me, and I brought in a Liverpool defender who considered after a minute, which, looking back now, burnt me, really. But it was a good game week for me. Bruno Fernandes, 22. Now, I didn't know who to captain this last game week. You guys might find this interesting. I really hummed an arm 
Should have beat De Bruyne up. We weren't sure if he was going to play. Martial, is he actually going to score away at Leicester? Uh, Jimenez, was he going to do bits at Chelsea? It was really hard. Gabriel Jesus, is he going to start even for City? I didn't know who to make captain, but let me show you something. I'm not too sure if many people looked at this, but I did. Bruno Fernandes. Let's take a look at this, yeah? This actually tripped me out, and this is why I captained him on the last game week. Have a look at this for a Premier League player on their away record. Okay, away at Leicester, Bruno Fernandes attacking returns, okay? Now, away game before that against Crystal Palace, attacking returns. Away at Villa before that, attacking returns. This is every away game, yeah? Brighton away attacking returns. Tottenham away attacking returns. Away Everton attacking returns. Chelsea away attacking returns. Every away match Bruno Fernandes has played in the Premier League, he has come away with an attacking return. Mental. Absolutely mental. How could I not captain him? And that's in the end, that's why I captain Bruno Fernandes. Uh, against uh, Leicester for the last game of the season, albeit we did get a lucky penalty, but we all know Bruno Fernandes is going to take free kicks and penalties and whatnot. So uh, yeah, that's the way my season turned out in the end. As you can see, uh, two point nine, uh, two thousand nine hundred and five, or oh, fifth, I should say, is where I finished, which is uh, absolutely mental. And yeah, my best ever to date season in fantasy premier league which is uh, an unbelievable achievement and uh one that i'm very very proud of so yeah the season is over um that's the review looking back now all in all crazy season uh world pandemic uh as a united fan liverpool are champions it's a bit of swill uh bit of pill to swallow i should say but uh, a season that I'll, I'll never forget, uh, my best ever season, the top 3K in the world in Fantasy Premier League, in the game that I love most, you know, it, it, uh, that's the main thing as well, I just want to say, looking back now, you know, it, it, watching, I love football, and watching the Premier League is the best league in the world, in my opinion, and I, I get to, you know, play a game within watching the game that I love, and it's so much fun, and I get to play with all my mates, and I get to meet new people, and we get to compare our teams, and it's just so much fun, um, but yeah, looking back this season in particular, um, I was, I guess you could say I was lucky, but at the same time too, I just want to say that I banked on my own predictions, I banked on Man United having a good season, I banked on, you know, the likes of Rashford, you know, I, I generally believe Marcus Rashford was going to be a 20 goal, um, player this season same as Martial when I banked on that had them in my team throughout the majority of the season I've banked on Kevin De Bruyne being the player of the season I banked on um Jamie Vardy uh winning the golden boot race a and these things I, I stuck to my guns and, and it worked out for me you know so um my advice would be to you guys stick to your guns you know uh, things that you believe that will happen um back them I, I get it. Not every season is going to go your way. Next season, it probably won't go my way and I'll be outside the top 100,000. But this was my third finish inside the top 100,000. First, when I first used to play Fantasy Premier League, it was never for overall game rank. It was for the head-to-head -head leagues with my mates. That's how I got into Fantasy Premier League. It's only the last three or four years where I started going for the overall game week rank, uh, overall game rank. Uh, trying to come first in the world and um, yeah I'm having a lot of fun playing this way but uh, yeah look a lot of things went good for me this season which I, I don't know which was pretty lucky but at the same time what is it really luck I prepared for it you know I, I, a lot of the good things went my way with you know the likes of Bruno Fernandez and Man United players doing well but at the same time too my triple captain of Sadio Mane <sighs> killed me killed me you know like i remember the first game of the season someone uh, oh, not someone a lot of people use their triple captain on on sterling you know mental that absolutely mental ah uh, but yeah it was all fun honestly it was all a lot of fun now before i go i just want to give some thanks to some very important people to me who helped me achieve the uh rank that i did for this season in fpl uh top 3k finish it would not be a possible without the legends 
uh andy from let's talk fpl bud man i just want to say thank you very much for the content you provided this season uh watched a lot of your live streams uh listen to the great advice you gave look you might not have had a great season yourself but just know brother you helped me finish uh inside the top 3k and uh, maybe next season will be your season but uh yeah thanks heaps and i would like to say thanks to sam and lee from the fpl family uh thank you very very much for the hard work you guys did uh you provided a lot of great content a lot of great advice which i followed throughout the year um it was good seeing you guys battle it between tottenham and uh, liverpool and fair play late liverpool champions mate congratulations thank you very much um and last but not least i just want to say thanks to uh fantasy football scout i've been a member on that website for since 2012 i used to listen to mark and granville in the podcast back in the days before there was even podcasts <laughs> uh john t and the boys and i just want to say thank you very much for all your articles all your um help throughout this season all and uh all your uh content i watched on youtube as well so i want to say thank you to all those people without you guys i would not be able to have reached my top 3k uh rank in the world so thank you very very much but yeah that's another season of fantasy premier league done and dusted next season will be my 10th year looking forward to it not long to go now only five weeks or something like that crazy huh how quick does that come and that no doubt next year is going to be even crazier than ever but i'm all for it and um yeah guys i hope you liked the video if you did please hit that like button i'm actually thinking about making uh fantasy premier league content on the regular one because i love it and two because i think this season confirmed that i'm not that bad at it so i might i don't know i might make a separate channel where i'll consistently uh make fbl content i don't know but uh stay tuned if not i'll do it on this channel but either way lads i just want to say uh thank you very much and uh yeah make sure you hit that subscribe button to, for more fantasy premier league content anyways i'm your boy curtis take care and peace